The Lone Ranger! with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. Hello there. I'd like to just take a minute to talk to you about Marita Brown and Serve Rolls. As you know, Marita means all that's fresh and good that goes into and comes out of your oven. And Marita Brown and Serve Rolls are the ones that bake to a flaky golden brown in just six minutes. There are 12 delicious Marita Brown and Serve Rolls in every package. And if you don't use them all right away, that's all right, too. Marita guarantees freshness for several days after you buy them. Of course, in your freezer, they'll last indefinitely. But don't wait for company to have Marita Brown and Serve's. Your family would love to have a basket of fresh, steaming hot rolls with breakfast, or lunch, or dinner. It'll mean you care. And what a delicious way to show your love. After all, your family deserves the best. They deserve Marita. Marita Brown and Serve Rolls. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I am Silver! Hooray! Shrimp Butler was a small, thin man whose appearance and weight belied his toughness and lightning-like movements. In Arizona, he had built a reputation for himself as one of the toughest quick-draw outlaws in the territory. But when he moved into Texas with his gang, people were yet to learn of his unusual attributes. The first inkling of his independent self-assurance came one day in Pecos, when he entered the Longhorn Cafe in small high heel boots, followed by his men. <laughs> hey, man! <laughs> Look at the half pint tiptoeing in. Yeah. <laughs> Reckon he'll do a nice jig if I pepper his heels. <laughs> Pardon me, barkeep, but is that overstuffed toad directing his remarks to me? You know I mean you, runt. This gun says you're going to entertain the folks right now. Start dancing. Drop that shooting iron, mister. Ow, he creased my wrist. Did you see that? Oh, holy mackerel. He fed. Cover them all, men. I don't like this ornery crowd. We'll take their wallets. Line up, all of you. <laughs> you sure fooled them, shrimp. Big lunkhead sure learned a lesson. Reckon they never heard of shrimp, butler, one eye. Get their wallets and make it fast. Right. <laughs> They'll all remember shrimp, butler, after this. Shrimp Butler finally gained the notoriety and respect he sought when he and his gang committed a daring stage robbery near Stockton. It's sure a good feeling, Hank, to know I have the best rifleman in the territory riding guard on this run. Well, I do say so myself. No owl hoot's ever got the best of me yet, Sam. Ah, not an owl hoot in these parts would even take a chance trying to get the best of you. <laughs> With 20,000 cash in the strong box, it's mighty good to have you long. Get up there! Get up! Hey, look, coming out of the woods ahead, a bunch of riders. Jump and grasshoppers against the outposts. Show them, Hank, let them know who's riding guard. Don't worry, I'll... Oh, the gunner! Great day up at the south. Oh, oh, now, oh! Oh, 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 oh. You're both covered. Go down that stone box tunnel. Hey, look, that little guy. Don't you told? Hey! 
Good shooting, shrimp. You put several holes in the crown of his head. I'll throw down the strong box. There it is. Good. Now get that rattle trap out of here before I nick both your ears. Shrimp Butler's the name. Remember that next time. Now get this, sir. Get up there. Get up there. A few days later, the Lone Ranger and his Indian companion, Toto, rode into the Stockton Territory. Me hear a lot about outlaw gang leader, Shrimp Butler, Kimasabi. Shrimp doesn't try to hide his identity, Toto. He's proud of the notoriety he receives. Ah, you think them still near Stockton? That's hard to say. The last few robberies the gang has committed have been in this territory. That leads me to believe they have a hideout somewhere near Stockton. Then say him plenty good shot, plenty fast and draw. So I've heard. I've also heard the stage line is having a difficult time getting a guard to ride the stage because of that last robbery. It not be easy find Shrimp Butler. Him plenty smart. I, I've been thinking of a plan that might bring him and his men into the open, Toto. Uh, what do you think about Remember the old thin prospector Ebenezer Cody, whom we helped when we came through here a few months ago? Ah, me remember. Well, <laughs> Ebenezer's quite a talker. I think we may be able to use him in our plans. Oh, how you do that? We'll go see Ebenezer and persuade him to offer to take the job as guard on the stage, leaving here tomorrow for Pecos. Mm, not savvy. Him not fighter now. Him not good with guns. He doesn't have to be, Toto. You'll learn the whole plan when I discuss it with him. We're going to his place right now. Come on, sir. Come on, scout. The masked man and Indian turned off the trail and rode to a shack in a hollow where Ebenezer Cody lived. Oh, 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 I haven't seen you and Tondo in a month of Sundays. Hello, Ebenezer. Glad to see you. Oh. <laughs> sure is good to have you stop by to see me. Come in and set a spell. Oh, we'll stay only a short time. I'm glad of the chance to have somebody to cab to. I suppose you do get lonely here by yourself, Ebenezer. Well, now, yes and no. Uh, sit down, sit down. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you see, in the evenings I just sit out front and recollect the things I used to do. Yep. Just last night, I was remembering the time I met a hunting party of redskins on the trail. Well, sir, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I wait a minute, Ebenezer. I came here to talk about something I'm sure will interest you. In fact, I came to ask a favor. You came to ask a favor of me? Yes, that's right. I want you to apply for the job of guard on the stage that leaves tomorrow afternoon for Pecos. Apply for the job is... Uh, Jump at Jehoshaphat, I must be losing my hearing. <laughs> I thought you said you wanted me to get the job as a guard on the stage to Pegasus. I did. You, you, you did? But, but well, you <laughs> see, I... Oh, everybody in town has heard you tell of your adventures in the past, Ebenezer. I'm sure you'd get the job. But that's uh, right. But what I'm trying to say is I don't want the job. Ebenezer, you've done a lot of boasting about your past exploits. Now, I'm giving you a chance to be a hero in the eyes of the townspeople. Of course, if you lack the courage, By I... Jiminy, mister, I won't have you thinking that. I'll do it just to show you. Good. But I don't get why you want me Let to... Let me explain. We're here to help capture Shrimp Butler and his gang. Uh-huh. I heard a lot about Shrimp. He can almost shoot a bullet through the eye of a needle. Now listen, Ebenezer. Listen closely. Here's how you can do me a favor and help us against those outlaws. This is the plan... That night, under cover of darkness, the Lone Ranger and Toto went to the sheriff's office. Great day, a couple of owl hoots. Reach both of you. Get their guns, deputy. Right, they keep them covered. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, let go, man. Oh, Sheriff, I could have shot your deputy in the back and then <laughs> shot you if I wanted to. Oh, darn it, deputy. Why don't you watch yourself? He drew like lightning. We came here to talk, Sheriff. We came as friends. Now, if you'll put down your gun, I'll show you a letter from the marshal in Pecos. I have it here. I might as well holster my gun. You got us on the spot anyway. All right, deputy. Uh, Let me see that letter. Here, Sheriff. To whom it may concern, this will introduce me to Lone Ranger. Hey, this says the masked man's a Lone Ranger. 
Well, holy smoke, mister, why don't you just say so when you came in? <laughs> you held a gun on me, remember? Well, I'm sorry about that. Sit down, sit down. Well, thanks. We will not need our guns, Toto. Uh, so you came to help us find Shrimp Butler, hmm? Yes, and I've thought of a plan that may bring him from hiding. You know Ebenezer Cody, don't you? <laughs> that skinny windbag. <laughs> sure, everybody in town knows Ebenezer and his tall tales. Yes, I know. Well, Ebenezer, at my request, is going to apply for the job of guard on the stage leaving for Pecos tomorrow. Ebenezer Cody is going... No, oh, no, you can't mean that. Man alive, that's a hot one. <laughs> I know it sounds strange, but that's part of my plan. Ah. Now go on, I'm listening. I want you to see that he gets the job with the understanding he rides inside the coach with a strongbox. And then what happens? Ebenezer's in town tonight. He's boasting about the job at the cafe, and in his own way, telling what he'll do to Shrimp Butler if he appears with his gang. Shrimp is bound to hear about it. He won't rest till he makes Ebenezer eat his words. What makes you think he'll be of any help, mister? Well, Sheriff, I knew Ebenezer in his younger days. He was tough and fearless, an expert with a gun. And as a sheriff in Arizona, he was a regular wildcat in going after outlaws. Oh, great day, and I thought all this time he was just a windbag. Now, I figure Shrimp has a spy around town. He'll report what Ebenezer says. I count on the gang stopping that stage tomorrow because Shrimp will want to show up Ebenezer. We'll follow the stage and be there to move in on the gang. Say, it might work. Mister, I think you came up with a plan that'll give us a chance to grab Shrimp Butler and his gunman to the last man. While the Lone Ranger and Tonto were talking to the sheriff, Ebenezer Cody was holding the attention of the men in the cafe. Yep, that's right. Just like I told you, men. I'm going to take the job as guard on the stage tomorrow. <laughs> but a ride under the seat, Ebenezer. What'll you do with Shrimp Butler stops you? <laughs> shrimp Butler? Huh. Who's afraid of that little runt? Why, if I was to tell him about how I used to win medals for shooting... It'd take all night. I'll take no reason to laugh, you hyenas. Maybe I'm a mite out of practice, but when it comes to a sawed-off hombre like Shrimp Butler, huh, he'd soon find out he was up against a real gunman if he stopped that stage. I'm going to put the strong box in the coach and ride there with it. He won't be able to get near that stage. <laughs> if you really do ride, God, you won't live to tell about it if he stops you. You yeah, must be loco, Ebenezer. Oh, no. So you think I'm loco, do you? Well, think what you like, but I'll ride guard on tomorrow's stage. And if Shrimp Butler wants to meet his match, just let him stop it. I <laughs> uh, reckon I'll go along now. See you all tomorrow. So long. <laughs> We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. I'd like to read you something. The label on a loaf of Merida old-fashioned enriched white bread. And I quote, Enriched means that eight ounces of this bread supplies the following percentages of minimum daily requirement for these essential food substances. Thiamine, vitamin B1, 90%. Riboflavin, vitamin B2, 66%. Niacin, another B vitamin, 75%. Iron, 62.5%. Calcium, 20%. But that's just the outside story. What goes into Merida old-fashioned white bread is another story. A story of a rich old recipe. A recipe that produces an old-fashioned bread that's rounded at the top, with a crust that's golden brown. Firm, yet tender, moist, and very delicious. So when you buy Merida old-fashioned enriched white bread, read what's on it, and remember what's in it. Now to continue. Later that night, Pedro, one of the outlaws, entered the cabin in the hills, which was used as a hideout. Well, Pedro. Any news from town? See, something I think you want to hear, Shrimp. What is it? A skinny old man was at the cafe. He say he's going to ride his guard on the stage to Pecos tomorrow. Yeah? He say if you show up, 
You're going to meet your match. What? He called you a sort of hombre and a little run, too. He what? Everybody seemed to think he's loco, but he insists he's going to take the job. You going to let him get away with that, shrimp? Not on your life, one eye. We'll hold up the stage. Now shoot him right off the seat before he knows what hit him. He say he's going to ride inside the coach with the strongbox, shrimp. No matter. I'll make a sieve out of him with bullets and make the driver take him back to Stockton just to show people Shrimp Butler don't take that kind of talk. When's that stage leave, Pedro? Oh, it's one o'clock. We'll stop it in Rock Valley. The next day, Ebenezer stood beside the stage looking important and paying little attention to the jibes from the crowd. You better wear a steel vest, Ebenezer. Did you make a will, Ebenezer? No, you... Ebenezer, let me warn you. The last guard, Hank, one of the best shots around here, was wounded bad by Shrimp and his gang. Don't you worry, driver. If that half-pint and his gang holds us up, they'll get a real surprise. I sure hope so. Well, it's time to be rolling. You better climb aboard, Ebenezer. Right. Is a strong box in the coach? Yeah, but it's not big enough to hide behind. <laughs> I'll get in then. Well, this is it. We're hitting the trail. Get up. Get up there. In a thick stand of trees outside of town, the sheriff and his posse waited with the Lone Ranger and Toto for the stage to pass. The stage ought to be coming by soon. It's after one o'clock. Yeah, it is. We'll have to be cautious in following it, Sheriff. You're right, mister. We'll follow it at a distance, but close enough to get there in time if it's held up. There it is, Sheriff. I suggest we start now. All right, let's go, men. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Hidden by the large rocks in the valley, Shrimp and his men waited impatiently for the stage to come along. That doggone stage should be here by now. I can't wait to show up that phony loudmouth Pedro heard talking in the cafe last night. Remember, he's going to be riding inside the coach. Yeah. And he'll never step out of it alive. Reckon he thinks the stories he heard about me aren't true. Yeah. Along with that, he likely figures we won't hold up the stage so soon after the last drop. Yeah, that's right. I tell you. Hey, hey, Shrimp, here it comes. Good. We'll ride out shooting and head it off. Let's go, man. Come on. Inside the stagecoach, Ebenezer was startled when the gunfire was heard. Hey, Ebenezer, outlaw's coming. Oh, oh, there. Cut me, Catfish. Let's be shrimp and his men. I'll try a quick shot. Uh oh. Don't see the masked man behind us. Something must have gone wrong. I'll play possum. Drop to the floor, then try to get the drop on shrimp. Got to get out of this by myself. Ebenezer, you're all right. Oh, 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 oh. Keep the driver covered, men. Hey. I'll attend to the loud mouth myself. Yeah. I'll take you, Charlie. Hey, hey, you in there. Huh. Lying on the floor, the coach. Must have taken a bullet. I reckon he didn't know what hit him. Let's get the strong box. Uh, his body's covering the strong box. I'll put a couple of more slugs in him to make sure he's done for. As Shrimp leaned forward, holding his gun, Ebenezer twisted no. around suddenly and grabbed Shrimp's wrist. Hey, I'll take that gun, you run! Hey, let go of my gun arm! Let go! Hey, Shrimp, a posse's coming! Take cover, boys! Let go, you skinny lunkhead! There, that got you loose! Now I'll plug you! Let's go! Oh! Come on, boys! Give it off! As the sheriff and posse swept past and immediately engaged the outlaws in a desperate fight, the Lone Ranger pulled to a quick stop. I'll gun that mask, man! I won't let you! Once more, Ebenezer grabbed the outlaw's wrist and held on grimly. Come here, you! I've got him, Ebenezer. Good work. Drop your gun, shrimp. There, there! Keep his gun, Ebenezer, and keep him covered. I sure will, mister! <laughs> The Lone Ranger quickly joined the Sheriff and Posse in their fight against the outlaws. Finally, with Shrimp out of the fight and two others of the gang wounded, the outlaws surrendered. Well, 
we got them all, mister. Ebenezer, bring shrimp here. Sure will, mister. Get going, you go oh, on. Easy, easy. Quit now. Here he is, the shrimp himself. Oh, oh, by golly, Ebenezer, you did it. Wait till the crowd in town hears about this. Believe me, you got this guard job as long as you want it. Yes, sir. Nope, I resign. I had enough. You did a fine job, Ebenezer, in helping me capture shrimp. He did, really? Yes, he grabbed shrimp's gun arm and prevented him from firing. Well, I'll be doggone. Ebenezer will get part of the reward that's out for shrimp. What a man alive. I sure could use a little cash. <laughs> Sheriff, wait till I tell the crowd back in the cafe what it did. You see, it was this way. The masked man came to get shrimp, but shrimp had his gun and was going to plug the masked man. Well, sir, quick as a wink, seeing that I had to go into action to save the masked man's life, I grabbed shrimp's gun arm and I said, Hey, he and the Indian left without saying a word. Well, I reckon he couldn't get a word in edgeways with you gabbing, Ebenezer. (laughs) Anyway, I figure he just didn't want to spoil your story. So they just slipped away. <laughs> the one hombre who don't waste time standing around gabbing after the job is done is the Lone Ranger. Ah, the good old days, back when people were old-fashioned and the things your grandmother used to bake were fresh and piping hot. Well, at the Marita Bakeries, things haven't changed much over the years. Like Marita old-fashioned enriched white bread. There's a seal on every loaf that says, Marita guarantees freshness and is sold fresh through day shown on the twist tie. Maintain freshness by storing at room temperature. And when Marita says old-fashioned, it means it's made from a rich, old-fashioned recipe. And that means it's fresh. The idea of fresh anything, especially fresh bread, has been around for a long time. But folks forget what really old-fashioned freshness tastes like. That's why there's Marita. Marita enriched white bread. It has a freshness and taste that hasn't been around for a long time. That's a fresh idea that's very old-fashioned. Listen to the Lone Ranger. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you Silver? A vast cedar break covered the Texas plain west of the town of Morado. Only one road ran through the jungle of dwarf evergreens the stagecoach trail to Galen City. About half a mile from the stage road, in a small clearing among the cedars, three men crouched around a wooden box. The box held mechanism from a clock, a gun hammer, detonation caps, and dynamite. The device, known as an infernal machine, was actually a time bomb. A man known as TikTok said, Now, Pecos, you and Cliff watch how I set this thing. You're setting it to explode, I'm clearing out. No hurry, Pecos. I haven't wound the clock springs. Did you say you made two of these things, Tic Tac? That's right, Clip. The one in my shop has lots more dynamite than this one. Listen to The Lone Ranger, brought to you by special recording at this same time. copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer...